Hello learners, my name is Alok Banushali and I am from Changu Gana Thakur Arts, Commerce and Science College, New Panneville Autonomous. Today my topic is buyback of shares. It is for financial accounting for semester 4th. That's why I become accounting and finance. So basically what is buyback of shares? Buyback of shares means buying the shares from the public by the company. So here companies are repurchasing their shares which is already provided to the shareholders. So share or stock market where company decided to purchase their own share from the existing shareholder either through a tender offer or through open market. In tender offer there is an offer given to the shareholders. An amount is given to the shareholder whether they have to sold it or not and second through open market that is when company decide to opt for open market they repurchase shares through the secondary market that is stock market so on the other hand those who choose the tender offer can avail the same by submitting a tender portion of the shares within a given period it can be looked as a means to reward existing shareholder offering timely dividends however company owners may have several reasons for repurchasing their stocks another reasons also there to uh, maintain the shares as per their shareholding pattern and many more reasons. Now what are the reasons for buyback? First when there is an excess cash but not enough project to invest in. Means there is a cash available with the company but they don't know how to invest there. Yeah, there is not enough project where they can invest that money. So uh, this money similarly this excess money in the bank keeping this excess money in the bank as a cash flow as a trunked cash flow we have to stuck that cash in bank where we don't get any return so we what we have do what company do company get that money a company give that money to the general public and repurchase their shares so there will be less shareholding pattern second it is tax, tax effective rewarding options when compared to dividend share buybacks are more tax effective for both company and shareholders to elaborate stock buybacks are subject only to DDT dividend distribution tax but the amount deducted before distributing the earning of the surrounding shareholders on the other hand dividend are taxed at three different levels next to consolidate hold over the company when the number of shareholders of a company exceeds the manageable limit when the shareholders are more when the limit is not manageable so it is very challenging for the entity to reach a decision because there are numerous shareholders and the decision will not be getting it so additionally it may result in a poor struggle with the company and among the shareholder with voting rights so to avoid or aggravate such situation company board member often resort to shares buyback and plan consolidate their hold over the company by increasing their voting rights so here when number of shareholders are there to avoid this limit to manage this limit company buyback for instance oyo rooms attempt to repurchase shares worth rupees 1.5 billion dollar from light speed and sequoia capital one of the most recent example of buyback of shares in 2020 next to signal that the stock is undervalued when the company decide to buy back its shares it may also indicate that the company considered share to be undervalued Besides uh, severe as a remedy for the situation also help in positive picture of the company prospective and current valuation. When the shares are buybacked automatically the earning per shares of the shareholders increase and it will give a positive impact in the market. Next what is the impact of shares buyback when we buy back the shares what is the impact first impact is effect on earning per share earning for shell will be affected how it is affected automatically when we buy back the shares the number of shareholders will be reduced and the profit will be distributed with less peoples for example if there is 100 rupees is the profit and the shareholders are also 100 so every shareholder will get one rupee as a profit one rupee as a dividend but when the shareholders are less say for example when shareholders are 50 when shareholders are 50 so automatically every shareholder will get 2 rupees so automatically the EPS earning per share will increase so that is the first effect second effect on financial statement also the money spent to repurchase money stock will be recorded in business earning report and can also be found in the statement of cash flow under the head financial activity as well as statement of return earning 
Beside influencing the income statement, the company or impact of share buyback can be noticed in other financial statement as well. For example, in balance sheet also, the company's cash holding will reduce, and uh, again, again total asset. In total asset, cash uh, holding will be reduced, and similarly in liability side, shareholders' equity will also be reduced. So it will automatically reduce the balance sheet number of balance sheets. Effects on the company's portfolio. Third is effect on the company's portfolio. Usually, company who have faith in their prospect and indulge in the practice of repurchasing the company shares, it display confidence received positively by potential investor and existing shareholder and help earning their trust significantly. It helps the company to enhance the market reputation and facility in increasing share value naturally. All the direct helps improve the venture's portfolio significantly. Next. effect on increasing shareholder value so buyback of shares will increase the shareholders value also business owners who opt for share repurchase are most likely to enhance their eps significantly and too much faster than operational improvement investors scouting for profitable investment option tend to acknowledge company with steady eps as a better income generating avenue with enhanced growth potential so there are many investors who invest their money for enhancing the eps so they will invest here so sh automatically shareholders value will increase what are the sources of buyback means when the company want to buy back the shares what are the when the amount from where the amount will be received so sources of buyback first is free reserves whatever the free reserves company has they can uh, buy back the shares from them second security premium account and third proceed of the issue of any shares or other specified securities means they can issue shares and they can uh, buy back their share also now what are the conditions of buyback so there are various condition first buyback of share must be authorized by articles of association the, the, this is the first condition buyback should be authorized by the article of association if no provision of in article of association we have to alter the article of association second if the shares to be bought back up to 10% of paid up capital plus free reserves plus security premiums minus pass board resolution so whenever we want to uh, buy back the share the number of shares which can we, we can buy back is from paid up capital plus free reserves plus security premium 10% of that then second pass board resolution second up to 25% of paid up capital free reserves security premium where we have to pass special resolution so in case of special resolution we can buy back 25% of shareholding and when there is a board resolution we can pass up to 10% of shareholding third condition is buyback should not be more than 25% of total paid up capital and free reserves of the company so in a year company cannot buy back more than 25% of paid up capital plus free reserves buyback of equity shares in an financial must not exceed 25% fifth debt equity ratio shall not fall below 2 is to 1 after buyback so debt equity ratio should be 2 is to 1 next the share and the specified security should be fully paid only fully paid by fully paid sh equity shares can be buy back company must follow the sebi guidelines in case of listed shares and prescribed guidelines in case of other next the buy back should be complete within a period of 1 year from the date of passing of special resolution or board resolution so whenever the board resolution or special resolution passed within 1 year buy back should be completed next shares must be physically destroyed within 7 days of completion of buy back whenever buy back is completed within 7 days physical shares should be physically destroyed no fresh issue is allowed within 6 month from buyback so after buyback within 6 month no fresh issue should be done by way of issue of bonus share or sweat equity next no withdrawal of offer is allowed once it is announced to the shareholder so whenever the buyback is done you cannot withdraw the offer next the company shall not utilize any money borrowed from bank and financial institution for a buyback restrictions so restrictions are buyback can be done buyback cannot be done directly or indirectly to subsidiary company through any investment company if there is any default in payment of deposit or interest on debentures preference shares or payment of dividend that company cannot buy back the shares when company has default in final filing annual return last the punishment in case of default so if the company default punishment is 
for company not less than one lakh, but which may extend to three lakh rupees, is the fine which have to paid for by the company and for every officer of the concerned company punishable with imprisonment for a extend up to three years or fine of less than rupee one lakh rupee which may extend to three lakh rupees or both. So in this lecture we have seen the basic introduction, basic conditions and restriction and punishment in case of default or buyback. So here I am stopping my lecture. Thank you everyone for patiently listening.